so now for visualization purpose we are going to use matplotlib to plot some of the charts plots with our google collab so open your google collab python notebook then click on this particular code block now here what we are going to do is we are going to call for import then matplotlib dot pyplot as plt this line we are going to keep constant uh, for all the plots and charts that we make right so we will keep it untouched then next thing we will create a set of dates right so let's say 12 2 then 13 2 then 14 2 right so these three dates and what if i want to change the temperature which is going to be 19.2 22.3 and then 18.3 these three dates and temperature now to plot what we'll do is plt dot plot and then give it our date and temperature and finally simply call plt show right now what we'll do is we will click on this run cell option or use control enter right on the right hand side you will also see that whenever search initialization happen it should show you the status for that right also your plot will be shown like below now you will notice that within this line chart we have few things missing like let's say if i want to add plot dot x label for x axis label that says date right similarly plot dot y label that says temperature right then we can also add grid plot dot grid set to true right and one more thing missing is let's see plot dot y ticks and give it our temperature right so all of that done properly we can run again and here you see all the parameters that we passed for grid then y takes the next label y label both is both are there and finally our line chart is there so now with matplotlib we have drawn line chart we will also draw histogram 3d plot then let's say scatter plot pie chart right so we will take a look at some of the charts that we can do with matplotlib okay so now that we have completed line chart let's take a look at histogram so basically we will get rid of current data for line chart right and next thing we are going to also import numpy as np right now what we'll do is now let's add some data now here you see hg np dot array then within that we will pass some data like say 22 87 then 5 43 and then let's say 56 then on next we will add 73 55 54 you go with the data that is available to you right so you don't need to have mine specifically because if you want different values you will get better chart for yourself to you right now that we have our histogram data let, let's go with figure and value for our plot dot subplot right and here we have to specify figure size and then 10 7 right now next thing we have to also pass in hist function some values like our histogram data and then beans value as well so that it can have it in array 
values such as let's say 0 25 50 and then 75 and 100 so for that this is mapped right 0 25 50 75 100 now next thing would be to simply let it plot hopefully my data is correct so let's execute and find out and here you see the histogram out of this current data now that we have seen histogram let's also take a look at pie chart so for that get rid of previous data and now we will add some subjects let's say maths and then history geography and arts and then finally let's say english right so basically we have five items here if you want more you can add so like say physics and then we will also add marks for these subjects so within array we will have something like let's see 42 56 then 76 then 48 right then, and then let's see 71 and then three so far one left some low value right so adding some variety there now for figure we will simply call plot dot figure and within that fig size equals to 10 7 right then plt dot pi and then passing our um, first we will have to pass marks and then label subjects right so basically next thing would be to have our plot show right now if I run this it should call for pie chart right so we have history maths physics English arts and geography all of the marks uh, properly adjusted within this pie chart right so you can customize it further with some of the values being shown next to our subject that can be done also there are also 3d pie charts that you can explore as well to show you that 3d plots are possible i am going to create a simple 3d plot without much uh, addition of data or so simple 3d projection so you can check whether 3d plots are possible or not if you want you can go ahead get some data and then plot those 3d plots accordingly but i'm going to simply show you the projection here so for that let's see figure set to plt figure then next thing we will have to check for axis so plt axis and then pass it the projection equals to 3 right if we run this it should output this our 3d projection okay now that we have seen 3d plot next we will draw scatter plot so for that let's create x array right and then also y array so within x we will add value like 5 7 8 7 2 then 17 then 2 then 9 then let's say 4 11 12 9 then 6 right now 99 then 86 87 then 88 then 100 then 86 then 103 then 87 then 94 then 78 then 77 then 85 and then 86 right so basically 
let's say if you have these two arrays ready we can now go for let's say plt dot scatter right so it will take our two arrays x and y and then c set to blue right and then plt dot show right hopefully there are no errors now we will hit enter and see how it plots our scatter plot so as you can see if you change the color to let's say red that will also be one more option right so our scatter plot is ready with our two arrays being plotted on it okay so let's take a look at how we can draw our plot with matplotlib so what we will do is we will first draw our plot dot figure right so basically once we do that we will have to add axis as well so figure dot add underscore axis right and within that we will pass few values right so array that contains few values like one one and zero zero right the previous chat is of scatter plot so ignore that now let's add a few fruits right so mango then grapes then banana right sorry control alter basically uh, outputting the bar plot here so let's go back to our data right so finally we will add our let's see instead of fake let's go for fruit like berries right so we have fruits and their respective prices so within this we will go for 33 64 then 23 and 98 right so these are the values that i want out then we will have access dot bar right so in that we will pass our fruits and prices right then finally we will simply use plot dot show right and if i enter again it should output my bar plot Right, so you get the idea how to draw various types of uh, charts and plots with matplotlib in your Google Colab Python notebook.